Hello my fellow mermaids and thank you for tuning in. Denim and sweater season. Now, a lot of you guys follow me for my leggings and you're like, Kelty, denim is the enemy. No, denim has stepped up its game. It's all about finding the right pair of comfy denim that fits you good. You can get high-waisted, just like our love for high-waisted leggings, with stretch, so these are technically like almost borderline jeggings. So it's best of both worlds. You can be fashionable AF and comfy AF. The sweaters, ugh, sweaters are in, and that is the best part about fall and winter. It's just cozy sweaters. And yes, <laughs> I recently got a haul, and I thought I just was wearing the clothes of yesterday and the day before. I was like, YouTube might want this. You have a fashion-focused YouTube. Lay bulb, lay bulb, lay bulb. Don't forget, and I'm sorry. Uh, this is a really unflattering position right here, and you can see how freakishly long my arms are. <laughs> it might be surprising the company I got it from, because no matter what body type you have, buying jeans suck. Like, suck. There's no way around it. It's just because they're all different body types, and they don't all have much stretch, you gotta find the perfect ones. And embarrassing fact about me. You'll find the one company, we all have it. That one company, you don't gotta hem it. You just put them on and you're like, oh, these were designed for my body type. And mine is not a really cool company. It's Abercrombie. Papacala, Hollister, and Abercrombie. I actually used to work at Abercrombie way back in the day. And obviously they've had some heat and I've just not been a fan for years of the like, Abercrombie, and then having the little like, stitching on the back, and then like, hey, everyone knows the shop at Abercrombie. But they've gone after a rebranding for a while. This isn't sponsored or anything, this is all my dollar bills. That's where these jeans are from. I was shopping one day at West Ed, which, I, guys, if you ever want me to do a tour of West Ed with you, aka like second biggest mall in North America, second biggest mall in the world, biggest mall in North America, either way, it's a really freaking big mall. And I noticed Abercrombie on social media had really changed up their branding, so I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll pop in. And then I saw they had a denim sale. Oh, we'll just try them on at first. No stupid logos on the back that are flashing everywhere. Like, oh, look where I got my jeans. I don't care. I just want them to fit good. <laughs> Did I go overkill? <laughs> yes. These are all high-waisted jeggings from Abercrombie, and I thought I'd show you guys them. And then I got some other sweaters, but we'll get to that. So the first ones I got are my new favorite pants. They're a jegging, they're high-waisted, they're a darker wash with some blade around the knee and some distress. I super love these. Like I said, I love that they don't have any logo on the back because I don't like my jeans to be flashy. I don't, I, that's the thing with jeans is they're very casual. I want them to just be there and that I feel comfortable in them, that they're flattering and they're just part of the outfit. It's not a statement piece and I think that's also what's really in aside from maybe like some floral on jeans and the distress look is in too, but that's all I like. I don't like big logos. They just want distress or a little design. I don't want big like logos like me, 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 me. These ones are the S Simon, Simon, Simone, high rise, uh, super skinny. That's what these ones are. Then these ones are the jean legging. Material, the material, material, girl, material, material. 87% cotton, 10% polyester, uh, polyester, 3% elastane, which I believe is gonna help with the stretch there. These are the J jeans, but they just call them jean leggings, aka J jeans, which is usually just a higher spandex. I'm not quite sure with these. Also the Simone, Simone, Simone. I don't know, high rise jean leggings. And the material, in contrast, of these ones are 78% cotton, 21% polyester, and 7% elastane. So I like these. Just uh, I wanted a darker, long, high waisted denim because I think that's really nice. Just look very like, put together. Because I like the distressed, but also nice to have just like a clean cut pair of jeans. I love these. The Simone, Simone, I still don't know the name, S-I-M-O-N-E, high rise ankle. So these ones are gonna be like a seven eight length. I really like, I wanted a pair of wider, lighter denim, and then I wanted the distress, and I actually really like that cut, high waist. The material on these, 72% cotton, 20% lyocell. I have never seen that, fascinating. L-Y-O-C-E-L-L. -L. It's like bio class. <laughs> Uh, I did not miss those days. 6% polyester and 2% elastane. There is that. So those are the jeans. They had a sale. It was like 
they were all on sale, but it was like buy one, get the second one 50% off. So all in all, these jeans, I think it ended up costing me like 150 altogether for three pairs of jeans. But you know, normally their jeans are about 80 to 100 dollars. Like they're high quality jeans. And yeah, so there they are on me. I'm quite happy. I've been happy. Abercrombie has gotten a lot of just a bit more kind of like casual nice clothes like the typical gen denim button up sweaters like that's what they're going for less like logo t-shirts and so i'm for that and even on their instagram they're a lot more diverse if you know what i mean and got out of that because i did not promote and that was one of the reasons i no longer wanted to work for them back in the day because yeah they just got some hot water stuff right now i'm actually super happy about and i've got so many compliments and then i'm like yeah it's from Abercrombie. so is Abercrombie cool again i don't know I don't know. I love their clothes right now and I'm really happy. So have a crown if you want to send me free stuff. I'm waiting. This is so cozy. Oh my god. It's like I wish you guys could feel it. It's like it's like squishy and this is nice and soft. And this is just this like wraparound sweater I got from there. And it is just the coziest thing in the world. And it's like wearing a blanket. And that is how I want my sweaters to be. Like I'm wearing fuzzy robe in public. This is really cute. It looks really bomb in Instagram photos, like the white, so if you're about that life. Uh, it's got some pockets on the side. It's got this, and honestly, it's just a super comfy outfit. So this is such a, such an easy weekend throw on outfit to kind of put together. So these jeans, cute booties, and then this, that is the, the easiest outfit. And then I also got this. I love blanket scarves. Ugh. God, they were so much fun because literally it's an excuse to wear a blanket in public and this is the best when you're unsure of the weather if you're gonna be in a coffee shop if you're gonna be studying at school you're at work and you're just not sure how cold or warm it's gonna be this is just the best accessory because first it looks cute on and then if you're in class or something and you're freezing you just make it a shawl type whoa it's tangled type thing and you've got a portable blanket with you and you can be cozy AF and this is what the holiday season is about being cozy this this right here this is the epitome of winter and coziness are you so happy eggnog lattes are back fuzzy sweaters are in I've already bought Christmas candy it's here Next! This really has nothing to do with the video, but I did get it from Abercrombie for 20 bucks. It was on sale. Just a really comfy sweater dress, uh, t shirt dress. It is not, I think I missed the season, but I think I might just wear this with pajamas because this is super comfy and comes springtime. So just like an easy shirt to wear around the, my apartment with some fuzzy socks. And that's just a really comfy, just chilling at home, studying, working, Netflixing. That's what this is for. Come the springtime though, this would be really cute. Because I do think the nautical blue and white is going to carry over. It just kind of appeared really popular near the end of summer this year. And it always kind of is like a staple. Navy blue and white's never going to go out of style. But uh, I've just looked at some spring previews of some brands. And I do think that nautical look will still be there. Now this isn't from Abercrombie. And this isn't from a store technically. This is a really, we talked about uh, this item kind of briefly, uh, but it's just really important to me and I thought I'd share it with you guys. I think this is really cool. If you guys watched my fall athletic wear haul, I talked about how at Thanksgiving dinner, my auntie and me were talking about how the 90s are back in and how it's really cool that if you pretty much dress how you did in the 90s, you're like killing the game right now. And she kept being like, oh, well, would this be in? And I was like, yes, and this. And she was like, okay, it's going to sound weird, but would a chunky, knit, cropped, burnt orange sweater be in? And I died. Guys, how amazing is this? It is so thick. This color is just screams fall and winter. It's a cropped, knit sweater. This, this, this is... This is everything I want in a sweater right now. I and she was like, "Oh, I'll never wear it. You want it?" And it like I know it sounds funny, kind of smells like my auntie, and I love my auntie, so it was just kind of like, "Oh!" And she's so glam and fabulous. And then I have this from her, so I unfortunately no one. You can't get this. Uh, it is like I don't even know the name of it. And also a really cool thing about this. My auntie said it was never really flattering on her and she tried to pawn it off on my mom actually. And this is also why it's so important to me. And this is why I love fashion, just tied to memories. She tried to pawn it off on my mom. And my mom 
was like, no, I can't wear that. And then my, and my mom was ripped, like six pack when, uh, around the time of this, this would have been like 1990 that this happened. And uh, so my auntie was like, oh no, no, it looks so good on you, it looks so good on you. And my mom was like, no, 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 I can't wear it, I can't wear it. My auntie's like, why? I'm pregnant. And that's when she could wear the crop top because she was pregnant with me. And then, so I, yeah, so that's kind of like a cool little story behind this. That's one of the reasons I love fashion, just kind of, it ties to memories. That's, that's what I love, it just, you can dress up, you can be creative, and it can remind you of certain memories and stuff. So that, this is really important to me, and I'm gonna cherish it, and I'm gonna rock it, and I'm so excited. This is my Christmas sweater. So this, and high-waisted pants, that scarf. Mm. So this, I'm sorry you guys can't get, but I would definitely recommend Burnt Orange is super in cropped knit sweaters. Forever 21 has a bunch. I saw Garage had a bunch, Garage Clothing, it's a Canadian company, uh, Urban Planet, same owners that has a bunch of uh, stitches Canada if you're a Canadian like I said and then Forever 21 Urban Outfitters definitely has a lot if you're from the States. There is my cozy sweater and jean denim haul. If there's any specific products you guys want me to review, comment down below and I'll make sure to bring them to you. And thank you for tuning in. Like always my fellow mermaids, it means so much to me. Hope you have a great day. Doodles.